So here's the setup. We use duct tape, a Ziploc bag, a little sandwich bag, and then soil. And then, I don't know if you can see that, some of the growth of the uh, roots. It's hard to see with the light. But you can see right here, there's a bunch of, of roots growing. So I'm going to cut this down. We'll cut it right here and then plant it and see what kind of root system we have. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this branch off so I can get it replanted. And uh, yeah, we, we don't really want to keep this mulberry tree right here because it's right up against the building. So we're going to propagate as much as we can next spring and then we're going to cut the whole tree down. But if you guys have ever eaten mulberries, they're like a berry. Pretty sweet, a little purple, some are red. But they grow wild here in Texas, so we're gonna take advantage of them. I don't have any loppers. I don't know where they're at, so I gotta use this saw. Probably not the best thing to use, but it'll work. Use what you got. All right, there we go. Let's see if you can see. That big old root right there. I'm gonna bring this over to the uh, to the potting bench so we can uh, we can pot it and look at the roots. All right. All right. You'll have to excuse my goats. They're mad at me because I had to put them up. Okay. So I just got. I'm not sure how many gallons this is. It's a few gallons. Uh, pot. I put some potting soil in it and it's a little bit damp because it was out in the rain but that's perfect because you want to keep these roots nice and moist um we w went with this size branch because we wanted a a larger uh cutting for next year i realize you could have done smaller sections and got more but we wanted uh we wanted a bigger size over quantity so all right let's get down here and unwrap this root ball see exactly what we got so we want to be as gentle as possible so we don't break any of these off so I may use my blade to cut through this tape versus ripping it so far so good Quiet. I guess we'll show these guys how kind of trouble they're getting into. What do you want up there? What do you want? All right. <laughs> All right, back to the action. Getting close here. So I'm trying to pick this out of the bag. It's pretty tight in here. I guess that's it. We lost a few roots, but we're gonna go ahead and plant this because it's starting to get really cold. I think I might keep this inside for a little while until it establishes a lot of those hair roots and that way the cold doesn't mess with it. All right, so I'll put this aside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bury this one pretty deep 
because it'll still continue to form roots up here too wherever it's touching dirt so we're gonna put this thing near the bottom but not quite all the way and that'll help it stabilize and be more sturdy the more dirt's around the, the stem okay and then I'm gonna pack this in here pretty good because you don't want any air to dry out those roots so press it press it down pretty firm and we'll probably have to stake this up and tie it up to give it some support but that's no problem Oops. all right so that's in the dirt and look at that beautiful tree All right, so, so far, this would be a success. We got roots. Uh, next step is to um, keep it alive, keep it watered throughout the winter time, and then see if it buds again. And uh, then we'll, we'll replant this tree, uh, probably springtime, but before it gets really hot, we'll give it a chance to, to grow some roots. During the spring, and hopefully, I don't know if it'll bear fruit this year, but if not, definitely uh, the next season. So that is how you um, propagate a mulberry tree. All right, I hope you guys found this pretty helpful, and uh, and it proves that it can be done. It just takes a little bit of patience and time, and then some bags and soil. But um, yeah, if you don't have a lot of money or you don't want to you know invest in a bunch of trees from the store and your friend has one of these or your parents or somebody uh talk them into letting you try to propagate it with this uh, air layering system all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one